Well, you know our buddy, John Jankowski from Las Vegas Coin Company. Been on the show several times, but now he can officially put on his resume, actor. Take a look at his Ooh. latest commercial. Do you guys buy coins? Yes, we do. And we also buy jewelry at Las Vegas Coin Company. Thanks for the business. Wow, good job, but that was fun. Was that was that a real coin? It seemed like it was. If that was a real coin, we'd need a forklift to bring it in the shop. <laughs> it was it was not so it was not a metal coin. <laughs> the world's largest that's actually the coin they use for slot Zilla. That's the one. There you uh, go. Probably so. It, it, Interestingly it's... enough now. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, I was gonna but say we've it, had two is it was that a virtual it, was it real like was that an actual thing or was that was that like vr was that cgi oh no that was a real thing wow we have a, a, a friend of mine was rolling the coin in the store as my son who's in the that's who's in there uh was ch chasing <laughs> after it Very so cool. now we've had that's my daughter son. that was my son and the earlier commercial that we've done and aired on 13 was my daughter being the bride of frankenstein Ah, uh, and so explains Frankenstein. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, the acorn didn't fall too far from me. And so we've had a lot of fun with that. And in fact, if you notice in the commercial, I hand a check to my son and the check is written out to Kay Kramer. Well, oh, Kathy Kay Kramer. Kramer is Kathy Kramer is my rep for 13. That's, that's our executive, oh my gosh, executive. sales department. That was a little homage to Kathy. I did, love it. Did she pay know Channel 13 $1.2 million dollars to air that commercial? It <laughs> was a very big check. It, yes, it was. <laughs> and it was a lot of it was a lot of fun doing it. Um, the third commercial that we're trying to invent was supposed to be filmed this week, but I had camel trouble. So my third daughter is not quite going to get into the next commercial just yet. Camel trouble. Camel trouble. All right, John. Hey, listen, yes. this is fun. We love that you showed the new spot. We needed to talk about what it is that you do uh, over there. Are you still purchasing coins and jewelry? We are still purchasing coins and jewelry by the yard, by the inch, any way you want to measure it. Um, even though we say Las Vegas coin, co coin company, hence coins, We've bought a lot of jewelry over the last couple of years, and uh, more and more keeps coming in. We would love for people to look through the jewelry boxes uh, and see what they have, broken jewelry, diamonds they don't want, things from exes that have maybe bad juju on it that yeah. they need to get rid of, and bring it oh, in. Yeah. We feel 95% of everybody in Las Vegas has something they could sell us, whether it's jewelry, collectibles, uh, Frankenstein back here. Um, <laughs> Uh, artwork, it's hard to say. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I brought in a, a beautiful, this came in recently. I I am so terrible with this on-camera stuff. No, so it's So if good. I put what it near that? my forehead. Oh, is that a young lady? A Lalik, this is a beautiful Lalique vase. It's got oh. water nymphs all a, over it. Oh These my. girls are nymphs. hot. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, it's been a lonely, long pandemic where we're looking at vases and like, yeah, nice. Well, <laughs> it's been a long time, Sean, okay? Oh. <laughs> Since I, my favorite ex-wife and I have parted ways. So, oh, boy. TMI. Please yeah. ask me another question. <laughs> yes, please. I'm gonna, I, I can distract you both. Uh, this is far less sexy. Uh, John, so I'm in this uh, 100-year-old farmhouse up in Washington right now, and there's antiques all over the place. And, you know, you can't help but wonder, and I know so many folks have inherited items or have been holding on to items. They wonder if they have any value. They want to know more about them. This is a, uh, so I pulled up one of them to show you. This is a washboard, wow. like a clothing washboard. Um, and it's by a company called Excelsior Brand, made in the USA from Manistee, Michigan. I don't know the date of it, but uh, it's from when they used to wash clothes on washboards. So is this the kind of thing I could come in and talk to you about? Should she, should she put that in her luggage to bring to you? We would absolutely buy that washboard. It's not of great value. And in fact, doesn't it make you glad you're a modern woman, JJ? Totally. Yes, there we not go. Having, totally. Yes. You're not kidding. I have, yeah, it's I have my though, grandmother's right? last washboard. My oh, grandmother's wow. last washboard is in my house. And she actually used it. And she was so glad when the washing machine was invented and they could afford one. Yeah, no kidding. It's, but, 
if somebody's if you know sean if somebody's in doubt just bring it in today we had a guy bring in two typewriters and some ho trains uh we were it wasn't very valuable but it was something and if you're unsure bring it in or give us a call you got stuff you don't want cool. it rather than chuck it you might actually get some value for it or you might be sitting on a gold mine and not know it uh john great ah. having you my friend you it's always a pleasure seeing you guys it's always fun Love seeing your, your I, i'm looking shots. forward to seeing you again yeah the next time i see it you make that 12 million 1.2 million dollar check out to me that'll be nice i appreciate it hey got it we're talking about Las Vegas Coin Company. It is on the west side of Eastern, south of the 215 in Henderson. Actually, technically Las Vegas, but Henderson's is across Jason. the street. You know, yeah. 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 Las Vegas Coin Bye, Company. Red Robin. Is the website right yeah right down the street from the red robin there uh, at las vegas coin company on facebook they're on twitter as well and las vegas coin company paid for this segment on the morning block 